Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. Last week, I showed you this card that I made with products from Stampin' Up, and I got a lot of wonderful feedback for it. Um, I sell products from Stampin' Up and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I always have, in addition to the video, I also have detailed directions for the projects I make on my website and links for the products that I used. And if you click those links, it'll take you to my online store at Stampin' Up. I am still recovering from COVID. I'm finally starting to get a little bit of energy back, but I'm still behind and still trying to catch up and get projects done. And that's why I showed you this card last week because it was so fast. And I wanted to show you this other card that I made. These were both made with Marvelous Nature. And this is the same layout, the same ease. And I did use um, a different greetings. I used So Sincere, which has greetings for a lot of different events in your life. I thought I would show you several other very quick cards using the same formula. This one's a little bit different. Um, so the basic card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a large layer, and this is a little bit smaller than my large layer. This is my standard one. So the large layer, my standard large layer is four by five and a quarter. This one I cut down a little bit, so it's three and three quarters by five. I cut this one down a little bit um, because this image is a little bit smaller, but same formula. A card base, a layer of white or very vanilla, one color, one image, and one greeting stamp. This is with celebrate from celebrate with tags. This one is with pebbled path and wild and sweet. Same formula. This time I've used very vanilla. And I made this card with nature's prints and I'm going to show you this card. I wanted to show you a couple of things to look for when you're looking for a card that works with this system. So I thought, since it's time for Christmas cards, I thought I'd take you through the mini catalog a little bit. These are pretty small, so this stamp set would not really work very well unless you make it a little bit fancier and make it into a Christmas tree. This stamp set would not work very well because one of the things that's similar about all the ones that I chose is that it's a large image, but this is a line art, a lot of white here. And it would be tempting to color in, and that takes a lot more time. So I think if you look for a large image that has um, mostly solids, it will, you can make this card. This would be perfect. A large image, mostly solid. If you use this one and this one together, it gives you some detail, but you wouldn't have to. This one, not so good because it's, again, it's line art and I would expect to see it colored, I think. This set has a lot of different stamps, but you could do it with this large star. Line art that might not be so good for a very, very quick card. This would be perfect. You could do it, but this is the tree has some um, details in it. The bear is pretty much plain, and you would, um, so you could get away with this, 
but it'd be kind of like this where it's not filling the card so it looks a little naked in there. Line art. This one would work because it's got enough details in these birds, I think, to get away with it. These are big background stamps and you could certainly do it with this and maybe one greeting, but you would have to either put your greeting on a tag or a very bold color, maybe embossed. Either one of those would work. Line art. So I hope you see what I'm saying. This one it is maybe more line art. So look through your catalog and look for a large image that has some detail and full of ink. Another thing that will help you, um, this is my large layer, and this is a whole stack of basic white large layer. I have taken, actually I took in two packs of basic white cardstock into my copy store. I think any of the office supplies or, you know, that kind of store that does copying and cutting can cut your cardstock for you into four pieces that are four by five and a fourth. I want to say it was about $12 for that whole two packs of paper. And if you're only doing a few cards, you probably don't need to do this, but if you make lots of cards, I can't tell you how many hours of cutting this has saved me. So I'm going to take two pieces, one for the front and one for the inside. And something else that I want to show you that saves a lot of time. Even though my directions will say five and a half by eight and a half, and then score it four and a quarter, if you're going to make I almost always go ahead and score the full sheet at four and a quarter, turn it and cut it at five and a half. And I now I have two card bases, so I can either make two cards or I actually save uh, large and small layers and card bases in a file. And I love having those resources handy. It does help if you crease with a bone folder. And so for this card, I am using the, the white layer and Granny Apple Green cardstock, Granny Apple Green ink, and my large detailed image. My large detailed image is from Nature's Prints. And so I'm going to just, I don't know, this one, my sample I tipped a little bit. Maybe I'll keep it straight this time. One stamp. One greeting, and I'm using best wishes and happy thoughts. But this card could really be used for any, I think any. I mean, you could do this a get well card, a wedding card, a birthday card, a thinking about you card, just a friendship card. Thank you. Anything. Glue this to the front. That on the front of the card and you could leave the inside blank. You could stamp the fern again and maybe off to the side. Let me show you that. I'm going to get a scrap of paper so if I go over the edge, get my ink out again and maybe I'm just gonna put a little partial overlay and you could do the same thing on the envelope if you'd like just a little something 
glue this to the inside. You are done. So look through the stamps that you may already have. Look through the catalog for a large image that's got a little bit of detail to it. A greeting and you're set. Here's the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Just click the links and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! Click Home near the top of my page and you'll find lots of resources. Under Shop, you can find the products I offer to make crafting more convenient. How to get free products with my frequent shopper rewards and a link to my online store at Stampin' Up! Click Inspiration to scroll all my projects back to 2011, most with detailed directions and videos. Though the products in those older projects have been retired, you may find techniques, layouts, or color combinations to inspire you today. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, and some of my favorite tools. Under Organization, you'll find lots of free resources such as catalog tabs, labels and case inserts, color tools, and much more. More organization means more time for stamping. You can learn about my Evernote notebook. I have a note for every current product that Stampin' Up! has for sale right now. It really makes finding just exactly what you want very easy. And you can create your own notebook and search through all of the things that you own to find just what you need. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on my YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon.